It took so long to hit. I feel like it's a three star five cost. Let's see what happens. Harm assist, Lulu three. What the? Oh! This Lux just one shot her. What? All right, that was really underwhelming. All right, anyway, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. We have a short stream today, so just one more game of PBE and then uh, we'll go to Baldur's Gate. The Baldur's Gate run is, is heating up. It's getting quite exciting. We're going into the Temple of Shar. Those of you that are, have been following the Baldur's Gate run, give me a one in the chat. Those of you that have not been following the Baldur's Gate run, give me an 11 in the chat. Oh, it chose me. Um. Wow! That's just heart steal. Dude, what? I just got full heart steal on turn one. Any percent heart steal world record. You literally can't get it faster. I naturaled. I started off with a Cassante as my first unit, and in the very first round of the game, I got <laughs> Yone set. That is literally the fastest you could have gotten it. The only way I could have been faster is if I was like standing on the orb. Oh my god! Wait, if I get Heart Steel Cassante? Dude, if I get Heart Steel Cassante, that is a five Heart Steel world record. Dude! Oh my god! Yeah, we can submit it to speedrun.com. Hang on, just pray. Pray for Heart Steel Cassante specifically. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, something that benefits loose streaking, please. Probably Pinch and Study, but Rich Gertrude would be nice. Okay. Heart Steel Cassante. No! Okay, no, we still have time. We we can still hit Heart Steel Cassante. Just chill out for a bit. All right, I want a bow. Okay, so to min-max your Heart Steel, you don't want to fully lose. You want to kind of lose. You still get benefits for killing a few units. Don't you have a Cassante? Yeah, but it has to be chosen or a heart headliner Cassante with heart steel. That's the only way to get five heart steel until Ezreal. Why don't you like the vampirism? It's like transfusion. Uh, I mean, this is money every time you lose. I feel like it's way better. Welcome back from the ad break, everybody. This Olaf is big. What the? Would you guys date a girl if she could randomly double or half in size on the fly? Or more importantly, she abused this power. <laughs> she does it all the time. Okay, I have to make sure I'm not strong though. I'm down to like not slam the remaining items. What do you think is Aphelios best in slot? You probably slam Shojin. And he becomes like a stun bot. Okay, I'm down. What do you think is like the best last item for Aphelios? Is it Gunblade? Oh wow, this Senna is really good. That's a headliner Senna that gives me rapid fire. But the moment I take this, I I can no longer No! I have to get five heart steel. I have to. I believe he's coming. We could take this and play center reroll, which is solid. But no, I believe that heart steel is coming home. I've tried and failed to make heart steel work so many times. If you lose now, you become level five. That's fine because I'll take a heart steel like any heart steel unit. Right? I need one of them to be heart steel headliner. Imagine a spat. I don't think I'm killing any units. Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine a spat here. Heart steel spat. Heart steel spat. Heart steel spat. Heart steel spat. Heart steel. Fuck! <gasps> Wait! I, I fucked too soon. There's a belt! Or I meant a Turk! Okay. And then I still have an anvil. 
there's a 50% chance that this anvil has a belt inside, and that's five hard steel, baby! Any percent speedrun world record. 50% chance. All right. Let me call my friend really quick. Hey, Dream? Yeah, you know what to do. Belt me. I am not buying this unit. This unit is just a synergy bot. Thanks, Dream. Any percent speedrun world record five hearts. It could have been a little bit faster. If I rolled like a Psycho, maybe we could have gotten it. Who knows? Wait, when did they invite Gragas into Heartsteel? Wait, I, I kind of dig it. All right, can we like kill a unit? Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. We're getting to the 40 no matter what. Oh wait, if I lose this, I could actually get to the 60. Oh my God, I could get to the 60 reward tier. Wait, don't win, do not win, do not win. Can we get a one unit loss? One unit loss. Uh, that's probably fine, that's probably fine. Yes, I got to the 60. I got a 62. Oh my God, the first cash out already so big. How much money? Oh, that's not that great. Okay, wait, guys. Who is the better Sentinel? Mordekaiser or Echo? Damage reduction. Oh, wait, that's Pentakill. I thought you gave one Heart Steel. Dude, I literally started with all Heart Steel. What do you want me to do? Not play it? I have to try. Are you even a streamer if you won't throw a couple games for content every now and then? Oh, fuck. This guy is so weak. I probably should have inted. Oh, no. I won. I won. I should have thrown. I was too busy thinking about Echo versus Mordekaiser. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wow. Uh, I can take this for now. I'm down to play win streak heart steal. Fuck it. So what do we have to do to get seven heart steal? I just have to hit Ezreal and then a heart steal headliner. Okay, easy. Why don't I just do both at the same time? Heart steal Ezreal. Wait, a spat. Give me a spat. Give me a spat. I will literally pog. Bruiser. Mm, don't got any of that. Just play another Sentinel. Wait, this is so exciting. I might be a legend. Okay, let's start saving HP. In fact, we, we might actually win streak. This Aphelios is not bad. Can't wait to get Tiny Titans here. I would not. I think the best thing you can get is uh, Last Stand or Final Reserves. The next best would be Tiny Titans. Okay, and we always want one unit losses. Okay, and this Aphelios might be able to do it. He actually like is a backline. Look at this, he's actually killing units. Can we get exactly a one unit loss? Wait, I think I'm gonna get it. Oh wait, actually. Oh no. No! I mean, I mean that's fine, I'll take a win. That just means we can get the loss later. Final reserves! We got final reserves! Oh my God. Oh my God. Me who you are. The first time you would get eliminated, you instead remain alive. After this happens, gain 70 EXP and set your gold to 50. Excess gold is converted to EXP. Does that mean I should spend all my money? I don't really understand that. I'm guessing I spend all my money on units? Unless you want to go 10. Oh, I get it, I get it. So you kind of want to plan it out so you like hit like a perfect level threshold. You want to like plan it out so you go like, you go exactly nine and don't waste any extra money. And the right, okay, I get it. So I guess a better way to put it would be like, you should just buy a bunch of units on your bench. That way you can decide how you want to spend your money later. I'm down. Okay, we have a chance at something beautiful here. 
By the way, I want to once again remind everybody that I absolutely hate the design of this augment. It's super, like, bad for the game. It's like... 40% of the time you get gifted a free first and 60% of the time you go dead last and like there's no in between and like either the lobby is like oh what someone took final reserves and died or the lobby is like what this guy just wins the game for free because he hit final reserves went nine and then hit a stable board it's really bad design for the game it's fun don't get me wrong like I enjoy being the guy in the in the hot seat of like I took final reserves can I make it work but like imagine TFT world championship which again is decided by a first place not a top four or best average placement Imagine the TFT Worlds is decided by this, where someone hit final reserves and then wins the game. No! I'm one unit kill off! Oh no. It's because the Raven edge lorded over to my Aphilios. Dang it. Could have gotten a better reward. Another spat? No. Okay, but what if I grab a belt here in case I get a spat? Box box, they'd have to have played well to be in that position. They they don't. They take you take the econ trait and then pray you get final reserves. And then if you hit it, you have a chance at winning. Like the average in the final lobby at Worlds, the best eight players, or like eight of the best players, not necessarily the best eight players in the world. Eight of the best players are just like sitting there, and they all have like, you know, roughly a one in eight chance of winning. But then the guy with final reserves just has like a 50% chance of winning because he's coin flipping first or eighth. It's it's really bad for the game. Is Hurricane good on Aphelios? I'll just take it. I'm so sad that I missed that. Uh, missed it by one. But I probably could have positioned better. Hello, Sir Darth Walker. There was a tournament that uh, Riot asked me to co-stream earlier. It was a tournament that had like a really wide spread of players. There was like Silver to Challenger in one lobby. And there was a, um, it was in set nine. And a Silver player got first place in the Challenger lobby. You know how. 2-1 <laughs> Piltover and final reserves. And the player didn't even spend their money. The, the silver player did something really interesting. They got a 40 stack, like they went to one HP, they final reserved, went nine, and then they sat there. They didn't roll. They just like then happened to face a really weak player and then got a 60 stack cash out and then won the game by like slowly rolling for an Aphelios 3. Or uh, yeah, yeah, Aphelios 3, the gunner. Like I understand that TFT is supposed to have highs and lows, but in what world does a silver player win a lobby of challengers? That is an insanely high amount of variance. And again, it's because of econ trait plus final reserves. It was a high roll for sure, but like... You would hope that there would have been ways for like, skill expression to come through there. You could maybe argue like, oh it's fine, like that only happens once in a blue moon. And like, that is true. I'm mostly talking about specifically in the context of worlds where Whoever gets the first first place like wins the game, wins all the world championship. It seems too swingy in my opinion. Well, thanks for the hundred bits, sour catch kid. Welcome. Anyway, enough monologuing on my end. Enough yapping. Let's focus on how to win this game. Although honestly, is there anything for me to do? No, like seriously, what do I what do I even do in this spot? I'm pretty sure you just like kind of wait. You just like sit, wait to go to one HP. And then we go nine and then do a big roll down. I'm keeping this belt in case I randomly get a spat. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't roll at all until final reserves kicks in. Oh, actually I could roll for, um, yeah, seven heart steel. Yeah, I could roll for seven heart steel. Uh, I'm down for a bulk. We're gonna have a lot of items. I don't think I need Pandora's. Recompopulator. No, I, I need to keep my hard steals. Okay, so let's level up, sell this guy, and then buy frontline pieces, and then just see if I can get like a a heart steal. Any heart steal.
Don't roll too deep, though. I much prefer this to desk duty. Okay, I, I just take this for now. We'll just take this Thresh for now. Okay, I'm gonna get really dizzy soon. Actually, I'm gonna get really dizzy in one round. <laughs> Any spat? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, we're about to go through, like, a lot. Okay, wait, so... Oh fuck, I'm like dizzy even thinking about what, what we're about to do. So I need to like, spend my money... Like this? And just buy a bunch of pieces? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to buy a bunch of pieces. And just like, hold valuable champions. Oh, there's heart steel. Actually, no, no, I don't, I don't think you take that. Okay, so now we last standed. Here's Illusion. Actually, no, I, I can do better than Illusion. Let's grab War Mogs here. Okay, so now I'm like about to get boosted tonight. Wait, I need to focus. I've never played this before. So, now I sell Thresh. Oh fuck, this is actually gonna be so dizzying. Uh, now I sell my bench, all the non-useful units. Oh fuck. No, I, I think you keep the Thresh. I think it's actually not bad. Okay, so I'm level nine. And then now we roll. Uh, I've got a good feeling about okay, I need to like temporarily sell heart steals. Oh my god, I'm playing three Sentinel, three Guardian. Fuck. I, I I can't think fast enough. I know I'm supposed to just like in general make a strong board, but I'm 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 not good enough at the set yet. I'm too dizzy. Please win this. I mean like I'm level nine, right? Surely that that alone is enough to win. Okay, so think about what needs to happen next. Oh my god. I didn't hit. Okay, uh, this Jin needs to go in. Pretty sure you just dropped this Ezreal. Dang, I didn't hit a 2-star. Okay, this Amumu should go in though. For 4 Guardian. Okay, luckily being level 9 is beyond OP. I played this so badly. I couldn't decide which units I want to lock in. As I get better at the set, we'll slowly get more comfortable with this. It's too hard to do at the beginning of a set. Okay, I'm going to rebuild this Ezreal, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe even just not play the Ezreal at all. Okay, so then... I'm at 3 Guardian. 3 Sentinel. So down to drop the Mord. Now it's 4 Guardian. And then... I want to keep three hard steel in, but that might be like too ambitious. Oh 
Oh. Wait, that's gotta be woke. I think I did it. Sorry, son, I don't think there's room for you. Who can use this Archangels? Well, is Gwinsu still good for Jin? No, it's pretty bad. Oh, I guess I could give it to Zach. Yeah, congratulations, Zach. You're a wizard. What about the cane? No, I think we just play three hearts still, and then we just like try to win streak here. We've got... I. It took me three rounds, but we can finally play the game. <laughs> oh my god. That was so hard. Play the music. It took me three rounds to do that final reserve pivot. Thank god I faced weak players. We will slowly get better at that, but that was horrifying. I definitely like missed so many important units, and I spent way too long to think. There was a very good chance I just like died immediately. But now this level 9 board is crazy. For Big Shot, we have Frontline, we have Backline. We were able to land on pretty solid units. Everybody is like 3 or three costs or higher, except for Cassante, who is important synergy-wise. Okay, let's have one on, one carry on each side. That way you don't get Karthus. Yeah, you should go 10, then play a Lowey for Bruiser. That was cool, though. I can definitely feel it. There's going to be a lot of skill expression in this set. The fact that the rolldown was really hard, in set 9, when you go final reserves, you already have like an exact list of what you're looking for. You already know exactly what to play and just if you hit it or not. This is a lot more like, there's chances. There's so many like decisions you have to make. You could luck on to a specific build at the cost of... Oh shit. You could luck on to a specific build at the cost of... I uh, like having a lower chance to hit because you're less flexible. That's cool. All right, I'm actually giving this to Jin. I could either one give this to Ezreal and put him in next to Jin, and then give Jin like an Infinity Edge last item, or I could play for the strongest board available right now. I'm just gonna play for the strongest available board right now. I don't want to randomly die. Actually, I really don't want to die, so I'm down to just play two Yorks. Assuming we win streak and we heart steal, like this should be fine. I regret giving Blitzcrank this heart steal emblem. If we could give him a third item, he'd be really strong. But yeah, we probably made, we made a shit ton of mistakes already. But that just goes to show how flexible this set is. It's gonna be like absolutely impossible to play it perfectly. Hopefully, at Worlds there'll be very noticeable skill expression of like, oh my god, this guy like handled that pivot insanely well. Does two Jins proc the violence faster? No, they actually grief each other. It's kind of funny. It's a little sad and also a little funny. Sorry, MMU. You don't get to play. I Two Jins compete for violence space. One time I lost a game where I was really strong, where I played three Jins on my board, and because you only have 10 bench spaces, none of my Jins could get four violins, so none of them activated. Oh my god. World's fastest Sona. Do you think this set is truly more flexible? Oh, absolutely. You can play one game and see that it's already more flexible. Playing horizontal boards are significantly uh, better. Well, I wouldn't say better all the time, but like you can hit a horizontal board every single time, but you cannot hit a vertical board. The reason why uh, vertical boards are really good in set nine is because they just made the traits really strong. The traits themselves just have a lot of inherent power, but uh, in set 10, it does look to be more about the units. And then also, a lot of traits like Disco, for example, I always talk about this Disco. Disco has... Okay, if the team planner worked, I would show you. But, um, Gragas is a Disco Bruiser. 
Taric is a Disco Guardian, and uh, Blitzcrank is a Disco Sentinel, which means you have one one foot in three different doors already. So you can like opt into like any frontline trade, is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm gonna roll a little bit. Can I hit a? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's seven gins or uh, seven Lucians. If I take this, how long will it take me to hit the remaining Lucians? So they they did change the thing. They they made a change where it's like if there are more than half the Lucians out of the pool, you cannot hit a headliner Lucian. Okay, I'm definitely not taking the Lucian though, because there's no way, I'm, there's no way I'm hitting two Lucians after this with zero gold. Dude, what a crazy game! Oh wait, it's already the finals. Oh, it's our the game's already over. I just started having fun. I was so stressed out about this pivot. Oh man, three star Yone, three star Ribbon. Honestly, kind of a cool board. Vertical Edge Lord. I mean, there's a lot of things wrong with the game if I lose this. My board is like insane, and we we had like the perfect opener into like late game, uh, late game pop off. If this board loses, like something's wrong with the game. But it's cool that three star Riven made it here. One day I'll try BT Titans Riven three. Wait. Oh god, somebody stop her. Oh god! Oh god! Kite! Kite! Oh! This Ezreal is so good! It's going Yoshi on Ezreal! He kited the ribbon! Oh my god! That was awesome! Wait, he just went nine. Wait, that was already a close fight. And then he went nine. Uh, I could roll for a better Sentinel over Cassante. That's all I can really do here. I can also clump my carries up. Oh, I can go Thresh 2 over a Mumu 2. Yeah, yeah that, that would also improve my board. So, assuming I survive this round, although I'm not even sure because he went 9 and that last I was close. It depends on if my Jin can actually kill the Riven. She's healing for an infinity amount of HP. I only won because Gumiyushi was kiting. Oh god, I'm dead! I'm dead! Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm dead! I just got beaten by the Shy! Wait, that was crazy. She actually went infinite. She just like Q fast comboed my ass. I will try that build one day. Oh, it's because she has Gargantuan Resolve, double harm assist. I see. I see why she was able to go infinite. <laughs> 